Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome back, everybody. Don Gon Ronpa. <laughs> so someone just got Don Gon Ronpa uh, <laughs> in the last episode, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, yeah, he's so sad. Sayak is dead. So um, dead. so uh, Aaron will have to develop a new crush. Yeah, fucking oh, you're so right. Like. Bummer, dude. All right. I, are, you, are you serious? She's serious because someone killed her. What, what is this? Right. Someone. Someone killed someone. <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. As the resident asshole here. <laughs> As the resident Before murderer, I can. Yeah. <laughs> Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Hypothetically. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cause. Naive! You're just so naive! You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? I thought that's exactly what was happening. Yeah, I mean, you told us that those were the rules. You're yeah. super naive! Devilishly naive! Hellishly naive! No, 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 the real thing has just begun. The, the real thing? Now then. <laughs> Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then, perhaps... You are... <clears throat> you are referring to rule number six of the school regulations! Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate unless they are... They can't be found out. I see. Oh... If you are okay. the... If you are the blackened that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you're talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which actually means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's going to get away with it. So a certain amount of time after a murder was taking place, a class trial will begin! Oh crap. C class trial? Yep! It will begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the black end who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown! During the trial, it's cute! <laughs> During the trial, you have to present your arguments about who you think the black end is. And I think he's actually talking in the game. The oh. <laughs> it's fine. I had my headphones completely on, so... All good. Mm-hmm. Ah, communal. If you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Um, what? Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's Wait, all Wait, so if the murderer gets Whoa. away, then everyone else gets... Everyone else dies, I think. Oh. Well. That sucks. So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Well, to put it simply, it's execution! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that tile right there! <laughs> execution? <laughs> and by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution. Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! Man, this guy sucks! So what you, do you suck! Mean by that? <laughs> I don't understand! Yeah. Further explanation will be required! <laughs> so, so, to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get. executed? <laughs> We become executives at a local company? <laughs> I love that idea! 
<laughs> what a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. It's like Among Us. Have you ever played that? A very, very popular game right now. But judge carefully <laughs> because all your lives are on the line. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described into your notebook. Make sure to keep it in mind. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Wait, hold on a second. What the hell are you talking about? You're freaking insane, you know that? <laughs> That's what she wanted to wait a second for. Wait, hold yeah. on a second. I have something to add. Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, I just thought of something. You're an asshole. <laughs> hmm. A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? Because if you don't, you'll die. That's the I don't I feel like I made it pretty clear. What? Are you saying you're not gonna participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. How are you talking about? What? Punishment? What kind of punishment? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesus, you guys are really thick. Uh, I'm like, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something? Shut the hell up. Say whatever you want. I'm not gonna be part of this. Don't be so selfish. You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. The evil standing here before me. I'm trembling with fear. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here... You'll have to go through me first! As he said that, he came charging at us, although it was more of a waddle. But then... Oh, dip. <laughs> Gumi! Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you enjoying yourself now? Uh oh. I invoke the mighty summon spell. Help to me, uh -oh. godly spear, Gunyir. Oh, 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 oh. Damn. oh. They're dropping like flies now. Yeah, man, I really liked her. <laughs> he got her right in the Junko Inoshima. <laughs> got her right in the pink, dude. Like what? pink everywhere. Uh -huh. This wasn't supposed to. Uh... <laughs> Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. Whatever! <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, she never moved again. Dead. No what the? What the? <laughs> What's happening? What kind of punishment? <laughs> I don't understand! <laughs> <laughs> this can't be real. Everyone just keeps dying because they're like, hold on, I don't get it. Can you explain it one more time? <laughs> no way. <laughs> now I'm painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know. But I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson after all. <laughs> what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Man, fuck this bear. This bear sucks. <laughs> In the words of the late Sayaka, Mamma Mia! <laughs> Junko's body. Junko. Uh, Junko's body <laughs> no. had been impaled with a bunch of spears. I was going to have to get past her if I was going to get to that basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I stepped in the pink. Ah, it's all over my shoe. Her unbelievable. I wonder if I I wonder if the, that's actually like a ratings thing. Like if they make the blood pink so uh like as if it was red blood, it it would be a uh, more maturely rated as a uh, game. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like Mortal Kombat when when it was sweat. <laughs> Getting punched off of them. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, for yeah. the Super Nintendo version. Ex yeah, exactly. That was a big, uh... That was a big reason for... That was a big win for Genesis. 
Yeah. Back during the console wars. <laughs> An unbelievable amount of... Uh, pink goo started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end! Nobody there could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who until just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. <laughs> <laughs> In simple terms. Simple. How many times are you going to explain this? It was the death of a human being. That's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just when died. She died! Yeah, I guess she <laughs> died. Well, it looks like she died just a second ago. Anyway, she died. But what kind of punishment is in store? <laughs> <laughs> it's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of an entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you don't really die. This is reality! said the talking bear. Yeah. <laughs> In a video game. <laughs> Why did you have to kill her? D didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? I changed my mind. No. You've been wanting to kill s this entire time. Kill this entire time? Well, don't be silly. You can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on! What do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you on your search for the blackened. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I'd like to call it... The Monokuma File! I mean, naturally you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. The, what's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole dang thing. I got to see it all go down. <laughs> Wait. You, actually, you know what? I do wonder if maybe it is different each time. Because Sayaka and Junko were the two people that you sought out and had conversations with. I wonder if the people you talk to are the ones that get killed in this scene. That's interesting. Yeah. Or, or it might have just been a coincidence. Um... Wait, so then, you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do! If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial now, could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well... Okay, freak! It, now then! <laughs> is it though? <laughs> yeah. Please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you Bad don't choice have of words. Yeah. You're best shot with a gun. Bullet to the head. Anyway, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. <laughs> I made a little rhyme. I do it all the time. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us lost in the dark. He left us totally without any clues. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long. Nobody said a word. The fact that Say Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. Who they killed They were soups Junko? cute! Yeah. <laughs> who killed Junko? <laughs> Our first mystery that we needed to solve. <laughs> Uh, it was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now is no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. Huh? In other words. Co cooperation is absolutely key at this point. <laughs> Who you decide to trust or not trust is of course up to you. I was definitely gonna say cooperation in my mind as well. <laughs> Pooperation? Cooperation. It sounded like you were gonna say oh, cooperation. Co Cooperation. You were like co cooperation. <laughs> Did that really? Yeah. 
It's very possible. I was like, oh man, I would have said cooperation too. Can you <laughs> think about and talk about the deceased? It certainly isn't gonna help anything. Saying stuff like that is just. How many times have I told you anyone who can't adapt will die? Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or are unwilling to adapt. If if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible. What an awful thing to say, especially after <laughs> what's happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward! What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. I'm tilted I'll the same die first. in the background. <laughs> what are we on a ship? <laughs> Ooh. All right, damn it. Let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment, as they do often all sentiments. <laughs> they were using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right. We just have to do this. I'll say it again. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. We just have to do this. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. We just have to do this! On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. Should we be doing this? <laughs> I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she it had was to be the one. We had the same emotions as when someone orders a bloomin' onion at, <laughs> at Outback. Yeah, probably some of us will die, but we've got to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a meme going around on Twitter now that's like how it started, how it ended, and it's like a picture of like the first day of your relationship versus like now. Um, oh, sure. And then there's one that's like how it started, and it's a picture of a bloomin' onion, and then it was how it ended, and it's a picture of a toilet. <laughs> I thought you were going to say a gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Jeez. I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. <laughs> all right. So let's Everyone's all. Everyone's alive. Let's all talk to everyone one by one and hear how they have to do this. Okay, cool. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we have to do this. <laughs> we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so no one can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. On account of me being the killer. Yeah, as the one who killed her, I feel like it's my duty. <laughs> I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. Well, no, we can't just leave him alone there. What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. What? Fuck you! <laughs> Fine, then I'll stay That's there. A, he, he makes a good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's very succinct. Fine, then I'll stay there and guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op base defense with the two of them? <laughs> I mean, coop base defense with the two of them? <laughs> with their stats, they're totally OP! Since we don't... Thanks, nerd. Since we won't <laughs> be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. Right. I'm... I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Does that mean I've, like, talked to all those characters? Because all that shit just came from her. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Let's talk to this guy. Huh? Is this really happening? Fuck with me. Screw that piece of shit, bear! Alright, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was my sentiment. I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Or else we're all dead. Ow! Hmm. Uh. <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? I noticed what? <laughs> Marge. <laughs> yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking through the monochroma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? 
Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. Go ahead, take a look. <laughs> Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. What? Well, she's right. <laughs> then, could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Hold on a second. You got it all wrong. For just one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You expect us to b believe that? That you're a nice guy? And you <laughs> I could strangle you with my tiny, tiny hands right now. <laughs> they reach around my tiny neck. They can reach around your tiny neck. <laughs> Just tell us the truth. The look on everyone's eyes had gone a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned, in other words. You think I did it? No shit, Sherlock. Everyone calmly fucking stands. <clears throat> we need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Okie doke. Okay. Are you serious? So we're really gonna try and find out who did it? Um. Yep. <laughs> if we find out who did it, then only that person dies. But if we get it wrong, then all the rest of us face execution. The heck? That's what this ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid. Oh man. Wow, thanks for the recap, everybody. Yeah, Makoto kind of sus. Yo, you're standing a little too close to the dead body. I don't know. Yeah. We have to find the killer! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Junko! You've always got great insights! <laughs> I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I got pink goo all over it. Ugh. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse. You know, the one covered in pink goo? Like they do in movies and stuff, but... She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. If only we... <laughs> knew the method of her execution. <laughs> yeah. It could have been a virus! We're on trial! I don't, I don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? huh? Hold on. Hold on, just wait a second! She's dead? Ah, oh, shit, man! That means... That means everything that happened so far is real? Is that a joke or whatever? Is really real? <laughs> Hell no! Someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! You just now accepting that? Ooh, I could strangle you with these tiny hands! Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. Everyone who's the murderer, go that way. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say any more? I will, though. I mean, <laughs> everyone else has said it 12 times. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather you didn't know. Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going, too. The two of us, the coldest characters, the ones who probably did it, were leaving together. <laughs> and just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Ah, mm. oh, that's right! Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence... I'm gonna be really cross. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in the nose and bunk you in the head. <laughs> they better not let me find him. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'll tie their shoelaces together and make them fall. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. <laughs> Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um, but I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know, and we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway. We don't really have anything to do. We already know who's killed Sayaka. What are you implying? It was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. You don't come any closer. Are you gonna kill me next? Damn you, Toko Fakawa. <laughs> well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto is guilty yet. 
That's true, we may as well at least check just to check. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help it Wait, why not? I'm allergic to death! And I'm not good with All it takes is one glimpse and I black out, even though there's, there's one right next to me. I was gonna say, you're standing over a dead body. <laughs> Well, whatever. I don't think anyone expecting much from you anyway. Absolutely. Merch. <laughs> Alright, I guess I better get going. Merch. <laughs> Smell you later, dorkwads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go strangle the boy. <laughs> wait, wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And, uh, and their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Makoto looking kind of sus. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Is it because I vented from comms to med bay? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone... Will die. It's like you find one person stabbed to death in your room, and then all of a sudden, oh, I bet he did it. <laughs> Alright, I already heard yes, that. Yes, we, re we remember. I can't let that happen. Can't let what happen? Let's hear it again. <laughs> Electric chair. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. And by what Monokuma wants, I mean... Execution. Electric chair. <laughs> bzz, bzz. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka? Oh, wow. All right. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizano. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically- All of which could have been caused from inside by the bloomin' onion. <laughs> <laughs> As it explodes outwards from the- the onion, it explodes outwards from your body! Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth so that we can all survive. And first, Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Yasuharu? Uh, no way. I seriously don't want to die here. I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, Jewish God, Tom Cruise, help me! <laughs> I don't care who it is, just get me out of here! Hero that's from, uh... That's from Ricky Bobby. The Ricky Bobby movie. <laughs> oh, Tom Remember, Cruise. Yeah. Help, help me, Jesus! Help me, Jewish God! Help me, Tom Cruise! <laughs> <laughs> Jewish God. <laughs> I love Will Ferrell. <laughs> Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Hello. Aren't you going to help investigate? Chee hee hee hee. But I can't leave Junko here. I, I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. I'm not a vampire. I'm not waiting to tell everyone leaves so I can drink her blood. That is yeah, yeah. ridiculous. You want to check the body? Oh, yeah. Whoop, well, still dead. I gently placed the pulse and stuff. No pulse. She's dead. She's gone. Why is this happening? Okay. This is very emotionally charged. <laughs> All right. Do I get a trophy for murdering the best? Gonna go ahead and leave now. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing no one heard me say that. <laughs> First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime. My room. The room where she died. MY ROOM! That only I have access to! We won't make any progress without investigating there. Well, no, cuz... What's-his-name is there? What? 
the, the guy guarding the corpse, isn't he in your room? Yeah, well, I mean, it was just yeah. funny that he's like, the scene of the crime, my room, oh, which yeah. implicates me incredibly. <laughs> and only me. Yeah. So I headed to my room, where Sayaka's corpse still remained. Oh, mamma mia. I'd better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Um, there's people standing in it. It's the display stand the sword was on. <gasps> okay. There's a table. Oh, the scratch marks. Scratches and gouges. Is that evidence of a struggle? Oh, jeez, I don't know. But maybe we'll find out next time on Game Grumps? Ah! <laughs> Excellent. Ba -ba 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 See you then. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, peace.